I hope you are doing well at home. Today we are going to start a new chapter. The name of the chapter is Save the Environment. Okay. Topic is Save the Environment. So before we go into this chapter, I would like to explain to you in brief what is environment. Okay. The word environment is taken from a word environ. Okay. Which means to encircle. Okay. So in simple words we can say everything around us, okay, everything whether it's living thing or non-living thing, okay, everything that surrounds us we can refer it to it as environment, okay. And here today in this chapter we are going to learn how to save the environment, alright. So if we look at the uh, not the biotic but the abiotic component okay we see the air water land these are non-living things right so air water and land are are the abiotic components of the environment all right so we will have air pollution we have water pollution we'll have land pollution and the fourth type of pollution that is added to the list is noise pollution okay so if we how are we going to save the environment okay and we are going to discuss mainly about the types of pollution and how uh, we can reduce okay and we can control or we can avoid unnecessarily polluting the environment okay so let's go to the chapter here i will read and then i will explain to you after every paragraph okay so like i told you both living and non-living things make up our environment okay People, plants, flowers and animals are living things, okay. Blackboards, chairs, desks, pencils, books, okay, are non-living things. These are things that you see around, all right. The air we breathe, the water we drink and the place we live in, all right. They are all part of our environment, okay. So to live a healthy life, we must keep our environment clean. We throw away many things as waste. Some of this waste rots and decay while some does not. Things which do not decay pollute the earth. Let us read about the different types of pollution which harm our environment. Okay. So we throw away many things. Okay. Very carelessly we throw them into the environment. Okay. Now we must understand that there are some things which are degradable. Okay. They become decomposed. But there are some things which do not, which are not biodegradable. Okay, so those things what happens is because they are not degrading, they pollute the earth, all right, and they make the place dirty, okay. So these are the different types of pollution that we are going to read as we advance into the chapter, okay. So the first one, as I told you, let us read about air pollution, okay, and what pollutes the air, okay. So I think you know that basically we breathe in oxygen and we breathe out carbon dioxide and likewise the plants they take in carbon dioxide and they give out oxygen okay so we are interdependent on each other all right so that is the first thing that we're going to learn what pollutes the air okay the air that we without air we cannot survive okay we cannot survive without air so what pollutes the air that's what we're going to read okay so air is all around us and we need air to live Plants and animals also need air to breathe. Trees and plants make the air fresh and cool. Fresh and clean air keeps us healthy. Air that is polluted harms us and our environment. Okay. So we know that that we all need, every living organism needs air to survive. Okay. We cannot survive without air. All right. So like I told you, the plants and the animals, we are interdependent on each other. All right. And we know that there are, there are trees which gives shade, okay, and it makes the air fresh, all right. Like for example, the neem tree, okay, wherever you see neem tree, okay, they really clean up, clean, keep the environment clean, okay, the air very healthy and fresh. So what happens is when we breathe in fresh air, it also keeps us healthy, okay. Uh, we are free, we are breathing clean air and we will also be away from sickness, okay. So what pollutes the air shall we see? It is smoke from factories and vehicles, burning of garbage, plastic and wood, bursting of firecrackers, coughing or sneezing without covering one's mouth, 
These are the four points which have been highlighted here. First of all, smoke which is emitted from the factories, okay. We don't have so many factories around in our locality, right. But we have many vehicles and our responsibility, okay, if you have a vehicle, then you are to see, okay, that is called pollution, okay. How much of, if the vehicle is old then, it will give out bad air into the, uh, bad gas into the air, okay. Secondly, by burning garbage, okay, plastic and wood. We should not burn those things, all right. Thirdly, by bursting firecrackers, okay. It is not good. It pollutes the air and makes it, it doesn't make, it makes it impure. It makes the air impure. And fourthly, when, when we cough or when we sneeze, okay, without covering, all right. So, always remember when you cough, we must always cover our mouth, okay, even when we sneeze, all right. Sneezing is like, you know what is coughing and sneezing, I'm sure, right. Coughing is like this. <coughs> sneezing is like, choo, okay. When we do that, you know, we are giving out germs into the atmosphere and it is not good. So, even we must always remember when we cough or sneeze, we must cover our mouth, all right. And if you don't have a hanky, you should use your elbow to sneeze, all right. What we can do? Shall we go ahead? We should grow more trees. Okay. Some children think that, you know, they cannot do anything to keep the environment clean. Yes. One thing is to see that there is no litter around, okay, in and around our campus. The second thing is, okay, even you can plant small uh, sampling of trees. Okay. Secondly, when you walk or cycle short distances, it is very good, okay, we don't emit anymore, we don't add to the pollution that is already there when we walk or when we take a bicycle, okay. We should not burn garage, garbage, sorry, or dry leaves, okay, and avoid bursting crackers. Use a handkerchief when coughing or sneezing so that the germs do not spread. I have already told you this, right? We should always use a handkerchief when coughing or sneezing, okay? We should cover our mouths, okay? This is not a handkey, okay? But I am just showing you how we must cover our mouths when we cover, cough or we sneeze, okay? The second one type of pollution that is of water, okay? We know that water is such an important part of life, inherent part of life. We need water to drink, we need water to bathe, cook, wash clothes, grow crops and clean things. Plants and animals also need water. Water is used to generate electricity. There can be no life without water. Okay. We cannot imagine life without water. Our body is also maximally composed of maximum composition is water. Right. So we cannot live without water. All right. Now what is the main source of that water? It's the rain. Okay. Some of this water goes under the ground and we bring up this water and use it for different activities, okay. But unfortunately what happens, you know, the water bodies are polluted. How does the water bodies get polluted? Let us see the points. First of all, by dumping waste from houses and factories into the water bodies, okay. If you throw garbage and waste into the water bodies, alright. It, it pollutes the water. Secondly, when you take animals to bathe in the pond, lakes and river, okay. We must not put animals into the pond or lake or river to bathe. We must give them a bath by fetching the water out of the water bodies, okay. And thirdly, it is people bathing, washing clothes and utensils in the water bodies, okay. We must avoid doing things. And we must be responsible even when we see someone in our house or our neighborhood doing it, okay. We have to, you know, tell them very nicely, okay, that we should not be bathing or washing clothes or utensils in the water body, okay. Next, what can we do? Never throw waste in ponds, lakes and rivers, number one. Second point, my dear children, we should avoid bathing, cleaning and washing clothes in the water bodies. Always you use, if you are going to the well, okay, or you go to the pond to take a bath, what will you do? Take a bucket along with you and then you fetch the water out of the water body and take bath outside, okay, not inside the water body, okay. Alright, there is a checkpoint here. You must write T for true and F for false. So you this do this on your own. Okay, let's proceed into land pollution, the third type. Land is one of the most important resources available to us. We use land to grow crops, construct buildings and build factories. Okay, so you know this, right? We, if we don't have land, we cannot grow any crops. Okay, 
and we cannot construct buildings, we cannot build factories. This is one of the most important resources that is land which is available to us. Okay, so how do land get poll polluted? Number one, if we throw garbage in the open. Okay, secondly, if we dump waste, okay, dumping of waste by factories. And thirdly, if we use chemical fertilizers in the fields. Okay, sometimes very, uh, you know, just thinking about group, uh, you know, like lots of production, okay, or high need to, to have good yield, okay. Farmers may be using a lot of chemical fertilizers, okay. That is also very bad. What happens is when there is rain, those chemical fertilizers are washed into the water bodies, okay. So that pollutes the land also, it pollutes the water also, okay. So what can we do to help? We can plant more trees, okay. Secondly, we must throw waste in dustbins, okay. And thirdly, use natural manures to improve the soil. What are natural manures? Like instead of using chemical fertilizers, okay, we can use cow dung, okay. Cow dung is readily available and it is a very good manure, okay. So, we can use this natural manures instead of using chemical fertilizers to improve the quality of the uh, soil, okay. Last of all, noise pollution. We hear various sounds all around us. Among the sounds that we hear every day, only some are pleasant to our ears. Sound which is not pleasant to our ears is called noise. Okay, too much noise causes noise pollution. It can damage our hearing. Okay, so we hear lots of sound, right? Like from the morning we hear birds chirping. These days we can hear a lot of birds chirping, right? And we hear the animals, okay, okay, making sound. Sometimes you know what happens. Some some sounds which are not pleasant to our ears, okay. Maybe loud music, for example, okay. So what happens is, you know, that too much of, you know, sound it it causes pollution, okay. The fourth type of pollution which we refer to as noise pollution, okay. What happens is it can damage our hearing, okay. So we must make sure that wherever we live, the environment around us, we do not pollute, okay, the environment by any type of noise that is not, okay, that is not pleasant to our ears, okay. So, what are the causes of noise pollution, my dear children, shall we see? Firstly, listening to music and watching television on a high volume, okay. If you're watching television, you should put the volume, okay, not, you know, just audible, Okay, you know some people like to watch, uh, listen to music, loud music or watch TV or a very high volume. We should avoid doing this because it causes noise pollution. Alright, number two, honking of vehicles. Okay, honking of vehicles. We must not honk vehicles when it is not necessary. In the night, we should never honk. Okay, it's written that we should only use dipper at night. Okay, any sensible people, when they drive on the road at night, they will only use the high beam or the low beam. This is an additional information that I'm trying to tell you. Okay, so we must avoid honking of vehicles, unnecessarily honking. All right, some countries, you know, people are so disciplined, they don't have to even use a horn. Okay, but in our area, okay, sometimes we hear a lot of vehicles, especially when uh, in the traffic, when cars get jammed, okay, if they stand all in a disciplined manner, then there is not, not the necessity to honk, okay. Thirdly, bursting of firecrackers and fourthly, use of loudspeakers, okay. This, all of this causes noise pollution, okay. What can we do? What we can do? We should listen to music on a low volume. It is good for you. It is good for people who are around you. Okay. Avoid unnecessary honking. Like I told you. Okay. We must avoid unnecessary honking. Thirdly, we must plant trees as they absorb sound. Okay. So you see trees does a lot of good things for us. They clean the environment. Okay. They even absorb sound. Okay. So when we plant trees, okay, we are saving our environment, okay. So, th that brings us to the end of our chapter and my dear children, there is a very beautiful pledge here, my environment pledge. I say the first one, 
I will not burst firecrackers. Okay, it's a pledge that you have to take. Secondly, I will use only cloth or paper bags. When you go to the market to buy something, okay, we must always take a carry a bag along with us so that we don't bring plastic bags home. Okay, third day, I will save water. Okay, always remember that when you save water, okay, you are saving the environment. Okay, so when you brush your teeth, we know that to brush our teeth, we need just a glass of water, right? To wash our face, just a mug. Sometimes we leave the tap on, okay, very carelessly. But please take the pledge that you will save water. Okay, fourthly, I will not waste paper. Okay, because paper also comes from the trees. All right. So what happens is the more you use, the more you are not you are doing harm to the environment. Okay. So you will not you will take this pledge not to waste paper. Okay. And last of all, I will plant more trees. Okay. So please remember this. Take this pledge and try to do it. Okay. If we just say and we don't do, it doesn't make any sense, right? So if we take this pledge. We must also try to do it, okay? Just try to plant a tree, okay? And this time it's so good because you can do all of these hobbies at home also. You know, try to do some gardening, plant some trees, okay? In and around your environment, okay? So a very quick recap, my dear children. Our environment consists of both living and non-living things, okay? Secondly, like I told you, there are four types of pollution. Air pollution, water pollution, land pollution and noise pollution okay and uh, polluted air is harmful for all okay that we know and we must not throw waste in the water bodies never do that okay and last of all we can help our environment by growing more trees not wasting paper and saving water okay this is a very quick recap of what you have learned in this chapter okay now read and answer a b okay what I would like you to do is you try to uh, write this on your own. You write, try to fill in the blanks on your own and you write these words in the correct column. Okay, There are some words given and you will select what is good for the environment, what is bad for the environment. Try to do it on your own. Okay, And the assignments which are on page 24. Okay, assignment number C. Answer these questions. Okay, I will help you out with these answers. You check it out on the Miley app. Okay, and number D. Think and answer. Where will you get fresh air? In a park or in a crowded market? Give reasons. This you should, should answer on your own. Okay, and number E. It's a very nice thing. Word search. Find and circle five words related to pollution in the word search. Okay, so you try to do this on your own. There are five words which are hidden in this jumbled words, okay? And so you try to find these words, okay, in this, from this jumbled words here, okay? And uh, number F, activity. Make a list of two things which you can reduce, reuse, recycle, okay? Let me tell it again for you. To save the environment, we must, re we must remember this three R, okay? First one is reduce, second one is reuse, and third one is recycle, okay? And the last one, read these sentences. If your answer is yes, color the stars. This also you should do it on your own, okay? Like for example, I turn off the tap while brushing my teeth. If you really do it, then you color the star, okay? You can use any color, okay? Blue, yellow, red, okay? Whatever color. You use it and you finish off this uh, assignment, okay? So, I hope that you will uh, finish this assignment and then you check out for the answers on the Mighty app, okay? So, till next time, stay home and stay safe, okay? Bye. Stay home, stay safe, do it for yourselves, do it for your family, do it for India. Let's break the chain of COVID-19. Come home, come here, come here, Jai Hind.